You know that I could use somebody. Oh, I feel so naked. Oh, okay. So today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine. So this is me. I've got out the shower and dried my hair. But other than that, oh, I got dressed. Uh, but other than that, I have done nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do my foundation routine today. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some moisturiser on. So I'm just using up my Clinique Everyday Dramatically Different Moisturiser. I'm always okay. It moisturises. Is it worth the money? No. Do I hate the packaging? Yes. So I'll put about that much on. Now I typically suffer from, um, move my mirror in, dry, dry skin. So I'm just going to... This on. My skin has been craving this since I got out of the shower. My skin was so dry. It was like, oh, why aren't you applying moisturizer? Don't go dry your hair. Feed me. So, I'm just gonna slap it all on. I'm getting rid of the sleep out of my eyes. Why is that still in there? And I just wait for that to sink in. Normally I eat my breakfast at this point just so it sinks in properly and I'm also going to apply some lip balm. This is just um, the Baby Lips uh, menthol which I don't really like menthol lip balms to be honest but it's the only one I have to hand. So just to get my lips and moisturised. Right. Uh, then next I'm going to take my primer and I'm currently using uh, the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer and this is really nice because it's very similar to the L'Oreal one except it's liquidy so it's a lot easier to use and you don't get like stuck under your fingernails because that's what I hate about the L'Oreal one, I'm always getting it stuck under my fingernails trying to scrape it out of the pot. I'm just apply it to the back of my hair and I'm kind of... and you can feel like where you've put this because it just makes your skin feel like plastic. Which I like. So it feels like it's working. Put a little more in the back of my hand. I mean, you don't really need much, but I prefer to use too much than too little. Which is probably not what I should be telling you, but. If my eyes are going all over the place, it's kind of because I'm switching between the viewfinder and the mirror to see what I'm doing. So just rub, 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 rub that all in. Right, then for foundation at the moment, because it's winter, uh, you want a bit more heavy coverage and I've kind of broken out, well I haven't really broken out, I've just got quite a few spots at the moment. I've got one on my cheek, some up in my head and a couple around my chin area. Um, I am the worst person ever for picking spots. Ugh, it's ridiculous. But so anyway, at the moment the two um, foundations I'm using um, Revlon Color Stay and this is in number two buff which is a bit yellow so I kind of counteract that with the Bourjois 123 Perfecting Perfect thingy and this is in the color number 50 and this is much more pink toned I don't know if you can tell but um, I have quite you know how they say you're meant to look at your veins and it should tell you mine look blue and green so I kind of mix these together to get my perfect skin tone so what I'll do I'll go for one pump of this because it's the more high coverage one and then kind of half a pump of this one and I don't know if you can see the colour difference there but one's definitely more pinky um, than the other one you see and then so I just kind of let these mix together kind of mix them together with my finger a little bit because if you mix them together with the brush you get way too much product on your brush so oh, damn I haven't cleaned this one Okay, <laughs> normally I'd use this brush to kind of apply a, a generous layer, but I kind of used it to apply blush the other day and haven't cleaned it since. So, um, I'm just going to use this one instead. This is the um, Gosh Professional Art Foundation Brush. Um, so, just going to kind of put a little bit and just get slapping on my face. Normally, um, like I said, with this one, you just want to do like light, light circles. Don't pull your skin, just lightly buff it in the top. This one I feel like you need to pull your skin a bit more because I almost feel like I'm slapping myself in the face when uh, I apply foundation with this brush. I don't know if that's just me. But like any any brushes like this, like the fat 
the flat foundation brushes. Um, and like I said, uh, with me, the, the main problem I have with my skin is um, uneven like pigmentation. Like I get really red around my nose and kind of my cheek areas. Um, so the main reason I use foundation, I have something in my hair, is just to kind of make my face all one colour. So I'll just use this to apply a light layer all over my face kind of don't forget to work it down the neck because no one wants foundation line uh, right so once I've kind of evened out my skin tone I don't know if you can tell it looks a lot more even uh, I still got some products on the back of my hand and so then I take my um, this is a Shiseido, it doesn't have the name on it, but it's just like a little small, very dense brush and I just use this for around my nose. Kind of, this is like for more delicate work and I'll just mop up the excess with this. And then if I need a little bit more, I'll just do the same again, but kind of half an ounce. So, tiny little bit, mix it up together. This, just kind of under the eyes a little bit over the eyes as well just because I have very veiny eyelids like that and then I've still got a little bit left so my new favourite brush is this Esprit one and it's a slanted uh, foundation brush and I'll just pick up any excess on here and just use this to kind of buff in and this gets rid of any streaks and yeah gotta have a look a bit close up to the mirror some dry skin going on Okay, so that's the foundation done, and then for concealer, I use the Natural Collection one in Fair, mainly because it's the only one I found that matches my skin tone. Uh, it's a very light concealer, so I'll just place this on top of any places I feel I need it, which at the moment there's quite a few, as you can see. Like I said, it's my own fault because I picked my spots. And then just two stripes under the eye, and now I look like... Ooh. And then just using my ring finger, I will kind of pat this in. Because if you like uh, spread, it's just going to look dodgy and kind of... Um, I will spread under my eyes, so just because I'm too lazy to pat all that bone. Pat, pat, pat. Do you like my nail polish, by the way? It's like this gold... It almost looks like gold leaf. I'm quite impressed. It's this new brand that I've tried. What's it called? Can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, I think I'm gonna go back because it had lots of different like sparkly colours. And I'll see how long it lasts. It has already chipped, and I did only put it on last night, but um, yeah. So that is everything done. And then if I want some powder, I will use the Rimmel Stay Matte or the um, Maybelline. Pure UV and this has factor 50 plus in it so that's quite good but it's also quite tight kind of like quite reflective so I just use this one oh, which is the translucent one and I will use either this brush or this brush depending on which one's clean at the moment this one's clean I just kind of get quite a lot and then just kind of roll it press and roll um because if you like brush then basically brush you get brush marks all in your foundation um, and this is actually like pressing in the powder 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 so yes that is my foundation routine uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm now gonna put the rest of my makeup on and then go film a gingerbread video with my sister which you'll see soon so bye guys